It's about 8.15 in the morning, and I haven't, I've been up and everything, but I'm just not ready to get up and start the day. And maybe about an hour ago, I felt heavily impressed to share what's on my spirit. And then I'm sitting here asking the Father, because a lot of times this feeling isn't comfortable when you know God is asking you to speak and do things, but you don't know what to speak or do. It hasn't been revealed, but you know in your spirit there's something for you to say or for you to do. And this is one of those times. It's been about an hour that the feeling was so heavily impressed that I knew I was going to have to do a recording, but I did not yet know what to talk about. So about five minutes ago, as I'm just sitting here, you know, in quietness, and just staying in quietness. It came to me so subtle as I'm looking around my home, laying here looking around my home, looking around the living room. I heard so softly, and I'm going to relate it to a lot of us as a family, you know, as a whole, because As I know what happens with me, there are those as a whole it's happening to as well. But what I heard was when God connects us with whether it's a companion or a partner, business partner, family unit, or tribe or soul family, however we talking about this, when God connects us, we're going to be connected to, and it's going to unfold as I speak. The revelation is going to unfold as I keep talking. So as I speak it, I'm going to be hearing it just as you hear it. But when God, as God is connecting us and when we reach the point of the connection of who God is putting together, it's going to be a connection of what we've been lacking. Just say, for example, of my personal connection. I've basically been a walking in more of the masculine energy of being the initiator, the creator, the um, foundation of building, just being the doer. I haven't gotten into the experience so much of my life to where there's someone connected with me that can handle that part and I can support the vision. It's like I've always been more of the visionaire to have supporters. But there comes a time where God calls for that to be balanced. And whoever God chooses to connect me with, the Spirit, the Father is letting me know that person is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> It's going to be a visionaire as well. And I'll be able to start walking in the experience of letting someone else take the driver's seat, take the lead. Because I've always basically been in those realms, whether it's a relationship, whether it's business, Uh, I've basically kind of been the leader of these things. And for me to find rest and allow someone else to take that role, that's going to bring balance. Not saying that 
I won't be just a, at just as much of a part of being in the leadership role, but to be able to allow someone else to do that. I was just laying here saying that's going to be a different type of rest and peace that I haven't really been a la- been experiencing in my life. Like I always had to make the decisions. Not that I chose to do it. It's just that that's how it's been. So many of our connections are going to be connected to someone to, okay, just say that if you were a person that always followed and never was allowed or had the opportunity to be the leader, to be the head, you're going to be connected to someone that's in my position. Now you're going to have that opportunity to lead. They're going to welcome you to lead, welcome your visions, welcome your plans. And you're finally going to be getting someone to actually support your dream, your vision. It's going to be harmonious. It's going to be a flow. Nobody's going to be competing for the leadership role. That person you're going to be connected up to is going to welcome you to walk in that leadership role. So, yeah, go lay back down. Go lay back down. So, yeah, it, you know, I'm laying here and and really just soaking, uh, you know, soaking up the peace that I'm feeling to know that when that time comes to be present in my life in the now time, I'm going to welcome that person to be the leader, to take visions and goals and to appreciate supporting something else other than me being that. That's 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 a different experiencing that I am very much going to welcome. So whoever, when we do get in the connections, we're going to have to. We're it's not we're going to have to. We're automatically going to flow in the peace of the role we are being placed in. If you're used to being the leader, you're going to find peace at letting somebody else take that position. If you haven't been in the position of being the leader, you're going to find peace at finally somebody is allowing you and or you're having the opportunity to express what's been within you to let it come on out and and has a have a vision and plan and voice you're going to find peace in connecting with that person or people or job or business i hate oh job is like a dis- for whatever forgive me yeah you're going to find peace in the new roles that we're being called in on this transition of humanity. We've walked in our positions long enough. Now it's time for us to be on a whole nother level to where we're being raised up to take wings and fly. Really walk in this earth as deities, divine deities, being examples of People coming together and actually building on solid foundations that are going to lead to love, joy, peace, and joy, and harmony. Allowing each other to agree to disagree. How we come together in spite of of different 
vi- viewpoints, different opinions, how we still can work together in harmony, even though we think different, even though we live different. But we still have that one common goal, with, which is peace and building with the foundation of freedom to be who we are as we're being raised. So yeah, that I'm I'm feeling such serenity right now because in the past following I didn't have the I may have had little drips of someone being the leader, but to actually link up with someone and know you're going to be in that for a while, long term, this is a new, this, it's going to be a new experience and I'm welcoming it and we're not going to have a hard time of switching roles. And not to say that I won't get into the role of being leader or being the visionaire. It's just the point of there's someone else that has that position as well. And to be able to take the back seat and and support someone else's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So welcome in the transition. Be 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 adaptable. Be mutable enough to allow the flow of the different roles changing. That way, the balance can take place. And we can see each other's positions and welcome it. Nobody's dominating. Nobody's playing the uh, walking mat. No, everybody is going to be allowed freely within each connection to be who they are. And it's only to enhance, to build. All right. Have a blessed day.